building without having to invest for an upfront. It changes the economics of the building. It makes computing available to not just every individual but to every organization, to every institution, to every school. And that combination of that technology is what is going to make possible a huge transformation in practically every sector of the industry as well as in the social sector. And the way Microsoft is going to do this is through our strategy of becoming the leading productivity and platform company in a world which is going to be mobile first and cloud first. India is a true example where mobile mobility and mobile phones have really taken uh, the forefront in terms of the way information is accessed. India is today the largest, uh, you know, it's the second largest country in terms of mobile phone sales. It's the second largest country in terms of the installed base, the third largest in terms of the installed base of, uh, of phones. And that is multiplying every year and growing at a very rapid pace. And now with the advent of cloud, this is going to become even more powerful in terms of the kinds of applications and services which you can access through your phone. And just uh, one year ago, less than a year ago, our uh, CEO, Satya Nadella, was here in India and he had announced that we are setting up three large cloud data centers in India. And I'm uh, proud to tell you that we had at that point of time said we will launch our services uh, before the end of this calendar year. I just want to tell you that we will be launching our services before the end of this calendar year. So three large hyper uh, cloud data centers are, have been set up and will shortly we will be announcing the services to these three data centers uh, in India. I'm also very excited with our Prime Minister's vision for what he calls Digital India. Digital India is again about the Indian citizen. It's empowering the Indian citizen to get the best of the government services. It is about ensuring that he can access uh, all the e-government services, whether it is at the state level, the central government level, or if it, whether it is at the uh, municipal level, he can get access of, to it, access to it uh, through digital technology. Uh, it is about creating an infrastructure where every citizen is connected. It's about making sure that every citizen has access to the cloud. It's about making sure that we have uh, services on demand which you can access. And it's about ensuring that every Indian actually has a form of digital identity in which you can transact all of these different services. Um, it's about the uh, on-demand citizen services, e-government services, but it's also about services which private companies can also provide. It's about services which education institutions can provide. It's about services which banks can provide. So therefore, when you start thinking about on-demand uh, services or citizens, it's not necessarily about government services. It can also be commercial services. It can also be various kinds of banking and financial services. But to be enable all of that to happen, you also need to look at how can you empower the citizen, how can you empower uh, an average Indian. In the latest budget, uh, the government had actually said that we would like to ensure that every family, there is at least one individual who is digitally literate. I know in the state of Kerala, they, are, they made this uh, a vision uh, nearly three years ago, and I think they're shortly about to achieve it. They will have one member in every family who is digitally literate. And that really is, is the vision of, of the government now to extend it across all of India to make sure that there is one individual in the family who is digitally literate. Now, to be able to do that, we need to ensure that our next generation understand and can use computing technology at a very, very early age. You'll be surprised to know that in the US, 50% of all children under two years are now digitally literate. That means they are getting born and they get access to computing technology at such a young age. And that will give them a huge uh, career jump as they go forward. So here in India, it's important for us to understand that we have to work with organizations like Chaitanya to be able to make uh, our student, next generation digital literate at an even very early age. 
Now, Microsoft has been very passionate about education, and our new CEO, Satya Nadella, is equally so. He wants every one of the countries in which Microsoft operates to be focused on ensuring that we provide inclusive growth in those countries and a big focus on education. Our education initiatives in India are very, very vast. 